All right, back here for another episode of Hunked Out Racing. Today we're going to be working on the Ford a little bit more. We are hoping to button up a lot of the truck. We, as you guys saw in the last episode, it didn't really have much of a front end on there. It had one headlight, so we're going to be fixing that all up, getting it all in. We're going to put some seat belts in it, put the tailgate back on, and uh, you'll guys see a little bit more. Let's get right into it. Before we start this video off, guys, I finally have some merchandise for you. My source of this is going to be on eBay. You're just going to go into the search bar and type out Hunked Out Racing. And I have three different shirts and a hat. Uh, let's start with our first shirt that I've created. We have the black shirt with our blue logo. It's Hunked Out Racing, True American Gearhead. And on the sleeve we have all of the YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook logo. And then we got an HR on the front for Hunked Out Racing. They are $20 a shirt. I get them while they're hot off the press. I got all the different sizes. I got small, medium, large, and extra large, and double XL. I also have a pink shirt and a white shirt, all with the same logos. And we also have a hat. This is our red, white, and blue snapback Merca hat. It's got our American flag logo on there. These are selling for 30 bucks a piece. I got a whole bunch in stock, so get them while they're hot. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. I'm on the rock strike. We're gonna start off at the front of the truck here. We got the hood on. Looks really good on here. And as you guys can see now, we got the grill inserts in and we got some nice headlights put in here. These are the headlights turned on. We went with the black LEDs and the blinkers are tied into it. Let me turn those on for you. So we got that wired in to the headlight itself because uh, we had this down here but it's so smoked that you couldn't really see the light so we unplugged it and hooked it to where the running lights would normally be on the front of the truck. So hook that up to the headlights and they look sweet on here. Let's slap some seat belts in this bad boy. Alright y'all. We got our seat belts put in. We got the race quit four point harnesses. And they are quick disconnect seat belts. Well, these things look killer in the truck. Absolutely stunning. We went for a little test drive with them on, and these things are awesome. Keep you right in the seat. Look cool with red. As you all can see, we got a little bit of a theme going on here with the red wheel. And we're putting these little red accent things in here. Next, we're going to be putting in the uh, little X bar we have for the back. We're going to get that painted up. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw it in previous episodes, but we made that, got it all put together, and we're going to slap some paint on it and throw it in the truck. Just got our little frame stiffening device put in. This X-Bar looks sweet back here. It's almost perfectly level with the bed. It looks killer in here. This has definitely helped us out a lot on the autocross track. And as you guys can see, painted it the same color as the rear end and same color as we did on the inside of the frame. As you guys can tell, it's a quick disconnect cage, so we can take this off if we ever needed to ever take the bed off. It's definitely going to help out on the autocross track. It should be making the truck a lot stiffer because the frames on these things aren't super strong and our Curie 1 kit can only do so much. So we added our own frame stiffening device in here and I should bet definitely be helping us out on the track. Continuing with the back of the truck, we got the tailgate put on. It looks sweet on here. We're going to ditch these black smoked lights pretty soon we're gonna have some nice LEDs for it and uh, I know the next question y'all been asking me a lot it's been a lot in the comments lately is how did you guys paint the truck I've been hearing this question a lot lately so I guess I'll explain it to you when we got the truck we knew it was completely rotted out and so the old owner put patches all over it uh, you could 
you could see all the rest just everywhere. There's patches, there's holes. You could see through a lot of the bed. So we're like, what are we gonna do for a paint job? This thing is so beat up and rusted out. What are we gonna do with this thing? So we sanded it all down to bare metal and we painted the whole truck black. And we didn't really want that because we wanted something flashy. So we got an idea, what if we made it a rusty patina? So we sanded a bunch of the spots down back to bare metal and we sprayed it with our own solvent. We used salt, water, and vinegar mainly to completely rot the truck. We just sprayed the whole truck in it and let it sit on there for like five, ten minutes. Washed it all off and it was super dull. It was still, as you guys saw in the last video, uh, the truck was really dull. So we wanted a way to make it a little more flashy and make it more shiny than it was. So we covered the truck in uh, boiled linseed oil. That's what made it shiny. We let that sit on there. And we could have let it stay on there super thick and heavy, but it would have made it like super shiny. That's not what we were really going for. We just wanted to make all the colors pop on it more. So we put a coat of that on there, wiped it all off, and the truck's a lot more shiny now. It's more of a it's more of a satin color now. And I think the colors popped on it really well. So that's kind of it. That's all we got for the truck right now. We got the whole front end done. Got the seat belts put in it. The tailgate put on and the X bar. Working on some gauges on the inside here. Got our transmission temperature gauge and our oil pressure gauge. Working on those. Gonna see if those work out today. And that's all I got for you. Let me know what you guys think. That's it for now and I'll uh, see you later, stinky.